like to present a study on effectiveness of structured teaching program on knowledge regarding polycystic ovarian syndrome among nursing students introduction polycystic ovarian syndrome is the most common problem that encounter with fertility of women in reproductive age the prevalence of polycystic ovaries in sub indian subcontinent asian women is very high its prevalence in general population has been estimated to be 5 to 10 percentage of women of reproductive age pcod is a condition that affects the women's hormonal level women with pcos produce higher than normal amount of male hormones this hormone imbalance causes them to skip menstrual period and makes it harder to get pregnant pcos also grow causes hair growth on face and body and baldness and it can contribute to long term health problems like diabetes and heart disease study findings shows that obese girls with polycystic ovary morphology had a great risk of developing pcod than other obese girls with polycystic ovary morphology pcos is the source of psychological morbidity and also can negatively affect the quality of life of adolescents so early recognition prevention and treatment is important to prevent long term sequel and to develop positive attitude and follow healthy lifestyle lack of knowledge and lifestyle changes are considered to be the major factor leading to this phenomenon there is a need to increase awareness among women so as to avoid major cases of fertility problems in the future a nurse holds a critical role in healthcare that goes beyond the day to day duties nurses are in a position to provide comprehensive care to adolescents afflicted with syndrome hence the researcher was interested to educate the adolescent girls regarding pcos and assess the effectiveness of structured teaching program in the indian scenario we can see two in every five adolescents and one in five adult women suffer from suffer from pcos tremendous advances and ex- extensive human studies have uncovered the complexity of pcods the objective of the our study was to assess the knowledge and regarding polycystic ovarian syndrome among nursing students to determine the effectiveness of structured teaching program on knowledge regarding polycystic ovarian syndrome to find out the association of knowledge regarding polycystic ovarian syndrome with their selected demographic variables a extensive review of literature was done under the following headings studies related to polycystic ovarian syndrome among adolescent girls studies related to incidence and prevalence of polycystic ovarian syndrome studies related to knowledge of adolescent girl regarding polycystic ovarian syndrome and studies related to effectiveness of structured teaching program of polycystic ovarian syndrome the research methodology the research approach used in the study was quantitative approach and the research design was one group pretest post test design the setting of the study was it was conducted in st joseph school of nursing hoshangabad an independent variable was the structured teaching program on pcod dependent variable was the knowledge of the students regarding pcod target population was the third year gnm nursing students in hoshangabad and accessible post population was the third year gnm students in selected school of nursing at hoshangabad the sample size of the study was 30 nursing students who fulfilled the criteria of the study sampling technique used in the study was convenient sampling tool and instruments used in the study in the study the following tool was used for the collection of data to the structured teaching knowledge questionnaire and it had 
two parts part 1 containing socio demographic performa and part 2 knowledge questionnaire grading of knowledge scores was done 0 to 10 poor knowledge 11 to 20 average and 21 to 30 good the teaching plan for the pcod included the following introduction definition causes risk factors clinical manifestation investigation treatment and preventive measures data collection process it was done from a period of 28 6 2018 247 2008 researchers selected st joseph school of nursing as a setting and permission was obtained from the college authority researchers selected third year gnm students for sample sampling technique was non probability convenient sampling researcher met the participants and explained the purpose of the study data analysis descriptive statistics frequency and percentage were computed to analyze the demographic variables mean median range and standard deviation were computed for describing the knowledge scores of third year gnm students inferential statistics parity test to analyze the significant difference between pretest and posttest knowledge score chi square test used to find out the association of pretest knowledge score and selected demographic variables major finding of the studies distribution of samples according to their demographic variables it was found that 50% students were of age 20 and 50 were of 21 years and above 20% got the information from family and friends 63.3% got information from books and articles 16.6% got information from health personnel and 76.6% people belong to urban and 23.3% belong to rural 63.3% were christians and 36.6% were hindus the in pretest majority of the samples 56.6% has average level of knowledge 33.3% of samples had poor knowledge and 10% had good knowledge in post test majority of the samples had that is 53.3% had good knowledge and 46.6% had average knowledge mean median range standard deviation of pre test and post test knowledge scores of third year gnm students data presented in the table shows that pre test knowledge scores ranged from 6 to 23 the mean pre test knowledge score is 13.03 with a standard deviation of 4.6 the median score is 12 the post test knowledge scores ranged from 11 to 26 The mean post-test knowledge score is 20.46, with a standard deviation of 4.1414. The median score is 22. Maximum score, mean, mean percentage, standard deviation, and paired t-value of pre-test and post-test knowledge score. The pre-test means mean score is 13.03, and post-test mean score is 20.46. to find out the significance difference between pre test and post test knowledge score pair t test was computed and obtained the value of t that is 7.07 at 0.05 level of significance hence the null hypothesis h1 is rejected and research hypothesis accept, accepted so it is inferred that structured teaching program was effective in gaining the knowledge regarding pcod among third year gnm students these findings were similar to the other studies which revealed that there is a significant difference between pre test and post test knowledge scores conclusion after the detailed analysis this study led to the following conclusion student nurses were having average knowledge on pcod before the structured teaching program there was significant difference between pre test and post test knowledge scores the result also reveals that 
there was association between pretest knowledge score and teaching and selected demographic variables such as age and religion thus it was concluded that structured teaching program is effective in gaining the knowledge regarding pcod